All right, today's video, I'm going to test out this Schumacher XP400 power station. Cheap power station, costs only $40. It's a jump starter with a little 12 volt accessory plug. It'll run 80 watts for almost an hour. So it's not, doesn't have too deep of a capacity, not too crazy, but it's a nice little backup power source. So my setup is a single marine battery, 750 watt power inverter, and a solar panel. 100 watt solar panel, that'll run my TV and my Xbox all day long. As long as I have sun, this will keep up with my Xbox and TV without a problem. So, there you go, 11.7, 11.6, 11.7. The 100 watt panel will keep up no problem because this setup altogether is only 110 watts so it'll have no problem keeping up with video games and a TV but if I turn on my portable AC here it'll have a harder time keeping up so turn this on right now let me plug it in okay so now, you see it dropped to 11.3 and it's running on 144 watts right now. So I could still run this combo for a while, but eventually the solar is not going to be able to keep up with this combination. And this is on, this is on full blast. Hit it if I do that. So. Yeah, that's all the way on. So. The idea is to unplug the AC here, turn this off. This is fully charged. I picked this up a couple days ago. It's fully charged. Here's a little indicator light right here. It's on green. There it is, green. So it's fully charged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how long this could run my AC. because. I could play video games and have my little AC here and pretty much, you know, keep my power reserve nice and high because I'm not tapping into the reserve of the solar and the battery if I just borrow power off this for a while. So if I'm on a little lunch break at work, I could run my AC and video games all together, all at once. So let me plug this in real quick. All right, that's in there, turn this on. So this is gonna turn yellow, but uh, it's still green. So um, right now, it's 525. Let's see if this thing could run my AC here. Let's see if it could run it for about an hour. And like I said, solar will have no problem keeping up with video games. So, um, yeah, let's see how this works out. So, 526 right now. Let's see if this will give me a solid hour of air conditioner time. So I think, you know, it's up to the individual what's important to you. For me, air conditioning and video games is important on my lunch break. So, I'm gonna see how good this setup works. So it's on full power right now. Let's see how long it lasts. At least an hour. And then, if this dies, I could always plug my AC back into the inverter and continue gaming and continue having air conditioner time. But what this is good for is if the sunlight's kind of coming down, then you have uh, extra power once the sunlight's gone and your solar can't keep up anymore because the sun's gone, you could use this as extra power. So it's like a game. It's a game for power management. All right, let's check this in about one hour, see if it's still running. Okay, it's about an hour later. My AC is still running. If I press the little indicator button, it says the power is low. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug this right now. Turn this off. So that's the AC, the water coming down. That's what that gurgling sound is. 
Okay, so I'll unplug this. Okay, let's see what the tester is saying. So according to the tester, there's still a little life left in this battery, like two little bars. So the key with these uh, rechargeable batteries is you don't want to run them down all the time. So there's something left in it, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I probably could have got an hour, 30 minutes of air conditioner time. Or even if I put it on low. So without a load, it's still indicating yellow. So let me see what happens if I put a low draw on it. So we're going to put the AC on low speed. Okay, this is on low speed. Okay, I'm still getting yellow. Or now I'm getting red. Okay. So maybe on low speed or medium speed even, I might be able to get a little more power out of it. So let's see what happens without a draw. Yeah, it's on yellow without a draw. So yeah, I, I think it could do an hour 30. But like I said, I don't want to run this battery completely down so I could prolong the life of the battery. But there's like a 90 day warranty. So I'm going to use this battery a lot if it you know is worthless in 90 days I'm gonna return it and buy another one but this this model is only $40 400 peak amps so you know it's not this is a basic one no air compressor or anything on this one but here check this out let me move this real fast right, I'm gonna put the inverter in wattage mode so drawing zero watts right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this right now. So right now I still have sunlight. So I'm going to charge my power station while there's still sunlight out. So I'll use uh, solar right now to charge it up. So you could, so if you play the game right, you could just have infinite power. It's all about power management though, so... It's plugged in right now. There we go. Let's see, it's drawing 18 watts, 17 watts, 22 watts. All right, so it's charging right now. This thing will turn. This thing will turn green once it's fully charged. Check the indicator light. It already has yellow, so it's already right. It's already getting power, but it's charging. So there you go. 23 watts. So it's a game, so take advantage while there's still sunlight out to recharge your power station. And it draws so little watts that, you know, you could probably charge it at night too when the sun's gone because it's not really tapping into the reserve of your solar. All kinds of accessories here. So this is the power station. I got a little air filtration system right here. Uh, companies don't really make things that last anymore, but this thing's 10 years old. It's turning yellow like a Super Nintendo. But I like having an extra air filtration system on me. I like breathing in clean air. This thing also works like an air filtration system. If you look inside of it, see the honeycomb thing in there? That's like a air filter right there. So really clean air comes out of this thing. One of my favorite mods I have right here. My 12 volt AC. Kicks ass. So there you have it. Video games. Solar. Power station. AC. It's all about juggling the power management. But if you play your cards right, you could have power all day long, even into the night. Like this AC will run off a cigarette lighter, so if I'm driving, I don't even need to use this. But... If you're stationary, then it's all about power management and, you know, using the right combination so you'll have power into the night. Alright everyone, kick ass, be safe, and take it easy.